You're watching Terrier Vision. I'm Tom Henson for Terrier Vision. Southern Conference Football Media Day held this afternoon. We had a chance to sit down with Southern Conference head football coaches and talk about the upcoming season. Also, we sat down with head coach Mike Ayers, Jared Singleton, and Mike McCrimmon to get the lowdown on the Terriers' upcoming season. Also had an opportunity to talk with Southern Conference Commissioner John Iamarino about the changes in the conference, uh, how it's going to affect the championship and the upcoming football season. Uh, we're excited about uh, this new season. Uh, we, we have the uh, potential to be a, a good football team. Uh, we have 20 nine practice opportunities to try to develop and, and prove what we're all about. Uh, we have got to be ready right out of the gate. Uh, tough schedule. You look at Baylor in the opener. Uh, right after that, we'll, we go to the Citadel. And uh, right after the Citadel, we play Georgia Southern. So it's a, it's a uh, season that, uh, that we're, we're, we're going to be uh, back against the wall early and uh, we, we've got to uh, develop uh, a football team. We have six on the offensive side, six on the defensive side returning, but uh, it's, it's who those other ten guys going to be, who's going to fill those slots and uh, we, we have some good players. But there, there's so much work that has to be done between now and and that first game. Uh, you got to develop a chemistry. You you got to develop uh, who your two deep uh, is. You've got to uh, you know develop that work ethic, that mentality. Uh, that there's there's a ton of work that has to be done. Uh, I'm excited about the kids. Uh, we we had a group of guys that uh, graduated. And uh, there were some tremendous players in that group. But uh, there's some guys that uh, have grown and matured, and uh, now it's their time. Mike, getting ready for another season this year. What's, uh, what's the offseason been like? Take us back to the spring and into the summer workouts. I feel like there's a lot of changes this spring with new uh, defensive coordinator, new guys. I uh, haven't played that much, uh, like, secondary-wise. You know, getting a feel for it. Uh, like, new things coming in, like, players-wise. but. I think uh, everybody's getting ready for spring and got new strength coaches this summer and everybody's been working hard. Uh, you mentioned new defense coordinator. Coach Woody, as we know, has moved on. Coach Tichy is now the defense coordinator. What's he bringing to that position? What's it going to be like playing defense under him? I think it's going to be good because he's, he's already been in, under the, under in the wall for, uh, for a while now. So I think it's not really a big of a change. You know, I think he's more of a player's coach. And everybody, everybody like to uh, be on the coach Katichi and like listen to him. You know, they respect him a lot. Everybody on, on team wise. Um, a defense that, that brings back a lot of guys. You mentioned the secondary, particularly corners, but the defensive line and linebackers return a lot of a, a lot of veterans. Uh, is that going to be the strength of this year's team? I feel like it's going to be a strength of the team, like you said. Like got a lot of experience coming back. You know, mostly everybody played in big games and like Georgia Southern and that. I feel like that's that's be our strong suit this year. Some new starters on the offensive line. Tell us about that group and how you expect the, the, the guys to be able to gel and uh, continue paving the way for the running backs. It's, it's a great group. Uh, this, this group of guys, they've all had playing experience. Um, you know, of course, Tomiko and myself having the most experience. And, you know, we really are trying to be the, the, the leaders of the offense and, you know, making sure that our backs, our quarterbacks, and everybody feels protected. And so making sure that the other guys with us, the other three guys on the line, they understand how, how it is and what it's going to be like. And we're going to make sure that throughout the, the next 29 practices that they understand, they're on page, and we can, we can keep this thing going. Now the common thing I've heard from a lot of other SOCON coaches is that Eric Breitenstein's gone, and we know he is. But talk about some of those guys who are going to fill that void because there's some talent in that backfield. Definitely. You know, you have guys like Donovan Johnson. You have guys like Cam Flowers. You have guys like Johnny Martin. You have guys like I can go on and on and on. Um, it's not the you know, Eric was a great player, and we, you know, he's, his shoes will be will be hard to fill. However, we do know that new shoes can come up and, and new people can uh, make a name for themselves. And as an offensive line, we're going to make sure that everybody that touches that football has the opportunity to be just as good as Eric, if not better. Joined now by Southern Conference Commissioner John I. Marie here at SoCon Football Media Day and John the first question and it's one everybody wants to know is 
App State, Georgia Southern, Elon are leaving the league. App State and Georgia Southern are ineligible for the conference championship. How does all that work with standings and games? Who, do all of them count? Just help the lay fan understand how this is all going to shake out. Very good questions. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering about it. All the games do count. Um, App State and Georgia Southern are, are technically repositioning institutions to the FBS, uh, but, but our presidents and athletic directors have, have determined that they will play a full conference schedule with us. Um, the records will be reflected in the standings. However, neither is eligible for our conference championship because neither is eligible to compete for the FCS playoffs because they're exceeding the 63 FCS scholarship limit this season. Okay, let's move on now. There, those three th are gone. We're bringing in three new schools, um, East Tennessee State, VMI, and Mercer. What's the time frame for those schools starting? And just kind of comment a little bit about what, what each of them are going to bring to the league. Yeah, we're, we're really, uh, as we looked at expansion when, when we started losing members this past year, obviously football was a major consideration. And so the fact that, that Mercer had already announced plans to start football and that East Tennessee State just not that long ago announced that they were bringing football back, those were key decisions in our consideration. VMI and East Tennessee, of course, are returning to the Southern Conference. They once were there, they were longtime members. Uh, we're ex really excited about adding a presence in the state of Virginia with VMI. And I think, you know, they're, they're going to be um, uh, aided by the fact that they're in the conference. I think it'll help them with their recruiting. I think they'll be competitive from the start. East Tennessee State is starting football in 2015. Uh, however, they will not play a conference schedule until 16. We wanted to give them a chance to kind of build a foundation, have a couple of recruiting classes, not have to rely on uh, junior college transfers uh, to, to get going. And um, Mercer is starting, of course, this year. Their, their opener is in a few weeks. Um, they've already sold out their brand new stadium. Uh, but they will play with us uh, beginning in 2014. So we'll be at eight members in football for 14 and 15 and then go to nine and 16. Uh, remind fans again how they can watch Southern Conference games of the week this year uh, when you know, very, all the schools are featured in Wofford, of course, featured three times this season. Right. Um, we again have the uh, package with ESPN3 uh, exclusive. You can only find the games on ESPN3. But the good news is ESPN3 is available in like 90 million homes. Uh, they just added Apple TV as another way to watch them on your flat screen. You can watch them from Xbox. Um, so it's, it's getting much easier and will continue to be easier to, to get ESPN3 and to be able to watch it. But we'll have an eight game package. Um, we're picking up the, uh, the first game of the year is Citadel Wofford. And uh, we'll run through the, uh, I think the third week in November. That'll do it from Spartanburg. SoCon Media Days wrap up. Terrier season opener, August 31st at Baylor. The home opener, September 14th against Georgia Southern. Get your tickets now. For Terrier Vision, I'm Tom Henson.